What's up guys, it's your boy Darshkin, and today we're going to be talking about the best weapons for Zhongli. Now, a lot of people have been requesting and asking, what weapons should I use? Should I use this weapon? Should I use this weapon? So I'm going to go over everything for you guys. I got y'all. So, starting out, free to play. There are two, well, yeah, there's two choices for you. And I'm going to talk about what, you know, both. Now, if you look at Crescent Pike, Crescent Pike is going to be the go-to weapon for physical damage, Zhang Li. Um, obviously, if you guys don't know, it gives physical damage, and the passive is ridiculous. You get you one part, you you get you one orb, elemental particle orb, whatever you call it, and then your damage starts smacking people. Right? I'm telling you, it, it, it's really really good. So if you're going physical damage on Zhang Li, which to be honest, I don't recommend, right? Especially if you're free to play, because if you're like if you're a whale, uh, you can basically um buffer the stats you need to get Zhang Li to do good damage like right now my weapon is like r5 type thing so it's like i can buffer those stats his best build is not going to be physical damage i would not recommend going physical damage if you are free to play now if you uh, are not going physical damage prototype grudge is an amazing weapon the reason why i say this is because it's going to be giving you a lot of energy recharge at like level 80 your energy recharge on this weapon is 42 percent which is amazing it's really good he's going to be able to spam his ult all the time which is a really nice build that's the current build i'm running right now um also after using an elemental skill increases normal and charge attack damage by eight percent blah 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 so like you pop his ult you get you some auto attacks in or whatever the case may be yeah uh, when you pop his ult, pop his E, whatever the case. Anyway, the point is, you use his E, pop ult, use your E, whatever, you know, and you get this damage in. The energy recharge is super nice because you're going to be getting his ult back really fast with um, his ult being 40 energy. So, uh, this would be one of the go-to weapons for a lot of free-to-play players or if you're like a light spender. Now, the third weapon is going to be the Battle Pass weapon. This right here gives you crit rate base attack. If there are at least two enemies nearby, attack is increased by 16%. Defense is increased by 16%. If there are less than two enemies nearby, attack is increased by 24%. Now, this is actually really good because now that you have crit rate on your weapon, you can go crit damage on your headpiece. And if you guys don't know how crit damage on the headpiece works, you get double the amount of crit damage on a headpiece than you would crit rate. Just to show you guys what I'm talking about, right if we go to the head pieces as you can see crit rate right here is 31 percent crit damage is 62 percent you get double the amount of crit damage than you do crit rate on your head piece but that's not the way for weapons for weapons the crit rate and crit damage are pretty relative to each other right you get like 25 percent crit rate and like 31 percent crit damage so it's like it, it's not double or anything it's like five percent more so uh, anyways, the defense is pretty nice because Zhang Li is a bruiser slash tank, so he won't be dying as fast. And then if it's one enemy, the double attack or the 24% attack is nice because it's just going to be more damage. So for free-to-play options, you can go into uh, Crescent Pike if you are a physical damage build, which I don't recommend for free-to-play really. Or you can go into Prototype Grudge, which is really good because of the energy recharge. Then there's the Deathmatch if you guys are a light spender and you want to go crit rate on the weapon instead of the headpiece those are all really good options now that we've talked about those i want to talk about um favonius lance a lot of people want to know about favonius lance favonius lance uh they're like hey ds should i use favonius lance favonius lance gives energy recharge too and the, the passive is really nice here's the thing about favonius lance right if you guys don't know, Favonius Lance at level 80 gives you what? 28% energy recharge. Whereas with Prototype Grudge, it gives you 42% energy recharge, which is a lot more. Then, if you look at the passive of this, crit hits have a 60% chance to generate a small amount of elemental particles, which will generate 6 energy for the character. It can only occur once every 12 seconds. Zhang Li is a unit whose energy is 40, okay? So this six is nice, but he generally will get his ult back faster than this matters, right? Because it's a 60% chance at R1 to get six energy, and you can only proc it once every 12 seconds, which his ult cooldown is 12 seconds. And if you're running prototype grudge slash ult spam build, you want to have your ult 
up in the 12 seconds it's on cooldown so this is kind of like a very because this is the thing if you're running him as a support with ult spam he's not going to be on the field and with him not being on the field this is not going to proc now yeah you could say oh well his pillar i drop his pillar switch him out whatever but most people running him as support number one they're going to pop his shield and not his pillar number one number two if you're running him support having him out to practice, it's just not going to happen. So it's better to go with the weapon that is going to generate him more energy passively while he's not on the field. So that's why Prototype Grudge is the better choice. Um, now that we've talked about all of that, those are the free-to-play light spending four-star weapons, right? You got Favonius Lance, which I don't think is good, comparative to Prototype Grudge. You have Prototype Grudge, which is an amazing... Uh, weapon for the support build or ult spam anything that's not physical damage pretty much you can go battle pass weapon if you want the crit rate on your weapon instead of the headpiece so you can go crit damage on the headpiece and then you have crescent pike for if you want to go physical damage now i'm telling you right now i've tested a lot of different builds and i think the ult spam build is his best build i'm gonna tell you right now i've been using his ult spam currently as you guys see right here i run energy recharge on my hourglass but if I had energy recharge on my weapon, I would just run attack percent or HP percent here. So that's that's how you that's how you do that. Now, moving on to the five star weapons, right? Five star weapons. You have the best spear in the game, Primordial Jade. The Primordial Jade has a crit rate main stat and it gives you like 3.7 increased damage per hit, stacks up to 7 times. Once it's max stacks, it gives you increased damage. That's a good spear in general, and if you want to get as much damage as possible on Zhang Li, that is probably one of the better spears to go with. Um, then we can talk about Skyward Spine, because I know a lot of people probably got unlucky one time or another, and Skyward Spine, uh, they got Skyward Spine. Skyward Spine gives you energy recharge, right? Really nice weapon, and it gives you like base increased crit chance as well. Uh, Skyward Spine is a really, really good five-star weapon for him as far as his, his ult spam build, etc. Right? So you could go Primordial Jade, Skyward Spine, also, but his best in-slot weapon will be Vortex Vanquisher. And the reason why is because it gives you shield strength plus 20% or by 20%. Mine's 40 because it's R5. And then um, scoring a hit on enemies increases your attack by 5%. Mine's 8 because it's, you know, R5. Um... Or is it 4%? I don't know. Anyways, 8% for 8 seconds max 5 stacks can only occur, you know, blah, 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 blah. While protected by a shield, this attack increase effect is increased by um, 100%. So basically, right, if we look at um, how this works, when he's shielded, he gets double the amount of attack percent. So 8, eight times 5, and it, 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 it's going to be 40, right? Max 5 stacks. Now, with this attack percent increase, it doubles. So instead of it me getting a 40% increase, I get an 80% increase. So this is going to be his best in-slot weapon for all-around builds. But a lot of you guys, I know you don't have that. You're not summoning for that. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys and give you guys all the other information on the weapon. So there you guys go. Like I said, I think his best weapon to be using is going to be Prototype Grudge off of the Energy Recharge. You can go Crescent Pike for the physical damage, or you can go the Battle Pass Spear if you got it or if you want to get it or whatever, because that'll give him crit rate on the weapon. And then you can focus on crit damage on the headpiece and everything like that. Now, um, in every build, you'll go Geo Damage Cup, except for the physical damage build, you'll go physical damage. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.